Hey guys, welcome back to Team Titan. My name is Tongan, and today you guys will be finding out with me the 10 things that I can't live without. Now, honestly, I had a hard time deciding between the 10 things that I can't live without, but after giving some thought, I just bonk, bonk my way through. Okay, so one of the things that I can't live without is. Uh, Sierra. She is really someone that I can't live without because I sit next to her very often. Not anymore. I used to sit next to her and it was really fun working with her and because we talked to each other a lot. Now I'm kind of sad because I, I don't work here anymore. Oh my gosh, shut up. This is getting too sappy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> There's one of the things I can't live without. So, one of the things that I can't live without is my sweets. People that work in the office would know that I eat a lot of sweets. Give me a moment, let me eat. This is good sweet. So I like a variety of sweets. I like mints. I like sweet sweets. I like sour sweets. I like bitter sweets. There are bitter sweets. And I don't know why too. I've just always had an obsession with sweets. It just keeps my mind going at work. I can just like munch down a bunch of sweets. As you can see here, this sweet is almost empty. But I just bought it like 30 minutes ago and I came into the set. It was full. And look, look at the state of it now. So for the next item, Something that I can't live without is my MacBook. Now I know a lot of people have used their MacBook before, but I have different reasons, okay? So this is actually Dan's old MacBook. He passed it down to me. Well, I have a lot of weird stuff that I found because <laughs> it's his old computer. So I see a lot of his like old pictures, probably things that he doesn't want me to see. Fun fact, I didn't know anything about editing when I came in, but I picked it up and it was actually really simple. So just goes to show that if you really put your mind to it, you can achieve, guys. Um. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing that I can't live without is AirPods. But not the AirPods itself. The AirPods signify music. Music is something that, I don't know, I just gravitate towards when I have nothing to do. So when I'm at work, I would listen to music. When I'm running, I'll listen to music. When I have no one to go out with, I'll listen to music. And the type of music I listen to, I listen to a lot of indie. I listen to a lot of K-pop as well. So I listen to bands like BTS, you guys know, and also like The Wallows. So ever since I've got AirPods, I've enjoyed a bit of a more minimalistic look. Like you see my, my phone here, there's no cover. There's not even a screen protector. Like I'm really living life on the edge right now. And you can see there's a, there's, there's a scratch here too. Um, funny story, I got this crack one day when I was... I basically placed this on the ledge of my toilet. The ringer rang and then it just vibrated and then it just fell off just fell off the, the toilet ledge. I should probably get covers, but I really I do enjoy the minimalistic look that this gives me. Like, it's like I don't really care, but I do. But at the same time, I really don't know. Okay, so the next thing that I can't live without is... Hair dye. What? Hair dye? If you guys haven't already known, I dye my hair a lot. I've done colors like purple, I've done dark blue, I've done red. I don't know why, I think I've done red like five times already. I've done it once and I, I, I'm gonna put up a picture here where I have my hair really, really red. At the end of the day, hair dye is something that I just feel like adds a bit of personality. So it's really fun. You guys should try it out sometimes. All right, so next up, it's another, it's another banger. Is this. Huh? <laughs> now it's not the pens. I, it's not that I can't live without pens, but it's the color of the pens, which is beige. So I love the color beige a lot. It's my favorite color. It's the color that I gravitate towards the most as well. I really do love a good beige. When it comes to partners, I think that fashion is something that's really important as well. So if they dress in beige, I think that I'll naturally be a bit more attracted to them. But I think that it's really cute if like couples can like color block well together. If you can rock it, why not? Huh? So the next thing that I can't live without is this. Now what's in this? It's not the packaging again guys. So I brought this. So it's really trendy now to like have Polaroid or like films being developed. So I decided why not do it on the go. So you choose a picture that you want to print out. So let's say you took a picture on your phone. You're like wow this is really cute. You turn on this product. Okay, okay. Check this out, check this out. And you hit the print button. And it's going up. It's going up. So it's going to here. Oh. Sorry guys, the thing died. I didn't charge it. You guys, picture what's gonna happen here. It's gonna go here, and it's gonna get printed out as a Polaroid. It's really cool. So yeah, and it's really handy because, let's say it's your last day of work, 
and you want to give a picture to everyone to like remember, remember the good old times, you can just do it on the spot. So it's really, really cool to make those memories with someone. So the next thing that I can't live without is this long stick. No, it's not a long stick, it's actually a hair product. If you can't tell already, hair is something that's really important to me. I have this wonderful quote. What hair is to men is what makeup is to a girl. Because if I had no hair right now, I think I'd be pretty ugly. But because I have hair, it kind of reduced the ugliness by like, I don't know, like plus five to attractiveness, hopefully. You know what, let me just give a masterclass on how to use wax now. So you scoop out the wax. You, you get a bit, and always remember, less is more. You can always use more, but you can never use less. Right? Makes sense, right? So what I'll do is I'll scrunch my hair, mess it up, and then I'll style it. So if you guys can see here, there's a scar on my eyebrow. You want to know how I got these scars? I was playing football in the field, in secondary school with my friends. I was wearing my square glasses, so if you guys watch, the, T1, the Titan Academy series. You guys know that I wear these square frames as cleverly. So I was running, 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 running. I passed the ball to this guy. He kicked it. He kicked the ball really hard at me for some reason. And it hit my face. It cut into my eye. So it bounced back and it cut into here. And at first I didn't know what happened. So I just fell. I just fell like this. All my friends were like, holy ah. shit. Your eye is bleeding. Like there's like a huge cut in your eye. I'm like, no way, you're kidding. And then I saw myself in a reflection and there was a huge cut. And so that's how I started styling my hair. Alright, so the next item that I can't live without is... My shoe! So this shoe is a pair of Dr. Martens. I mean, of course there's another one, but the other, the other one's kind of dirty, so I don't want to show it to you guys. But basically I like this so much, it's because it's so versatile. Today with these, these, these pair of pants that I'm wearing, you know, you can match it with that. You want to match it with a pair of jeans? You can match it with that as well. Without this, I'm 175. With this, I'm a solid 176. So you know, helps you with the girls. Okay, so the next item that I can't live without is my concealer. This conceals like all my my blemishes. So you guys can see here, I have like a few blemishes here. So what I would do is I would pe 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 here, pe 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 here, here, here. But basically, what a concealer is used for, if you guys didn't know, is to conceal all your blemishes. And it's something that I've been using for quite some time now, actually. I think I've started using it when I was like... in 2017, so it's been four years now. And I think that's really important for guys to feel comfortable in your own skin. Because when I put this on, I feel much more confident. So don't be afraid, guys. I think that it is important for guys to take care of themselves. So yeah. This is one thing that I really can't live without. So these are the 10 things that I can't live without. You know, it ranges from things that I wear, think the colors that I like. So I hope that, you know, it's a wide range of 10 things. So if you'd like to get to know more about me, you can always follow me on Instagram over here. And if you'd like to get to know more about Team Titan as well, you can follow Team Titan on Instagram over here. And let me know in the comment section down below who you'd like to see next on the next 10 things. And as always, you can click here to subscribe, you can click here to watch the latest video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!